Hi everyone, this is June Grindley from Create Features. We've been having our third Fun with Lego session. This week we had three clearly defined roles. We had the engineer, we had the supplier and we had the builder. The engineer had the instructions and told the supplier which pieces to give to the builder and the builder how to put them together. We had two teams who had a race. Unfortunately, we could only record one, but when we came together at the end, there's a discussion that shows the different approaches each team took. Having the clearly defined roles was very helpful because it gave us a sense of what we should be doing and what was expected of us. That helped us to feel safer and secure in what we were doing. These things are very important for everyone in this time of change and transition. Knowing what to do and how to do it in a clearly defined way is good for everyone to feel a bit safer in this environment. In fact, this is something that we at Creativators use a lot with people on the autistic spectrum. It helps them to negotiate the world which is uh, different for them. It feels a bit alien to them in our world. And in fact, in this world that is feeling different for us now, having those roles and knowing exactly what we should be doing and what we shouldn't be doing is important and is a good strategy to help us to cope and to be calmer and to feel safer. I hope you enjoy our endeavours. We had lots of fun. Bye. There you go. Hello everyone. Hi. <laughs> Hi guys. So um, this week we're doing a race. So you should have had email instructions. I'm going to be putting us into breakout rooms. Hopefully that'll work for me. I've not done it before. So I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> Fun for me tonight. So what we're doing. Okay, so Karen's going to be an engineer and I'm going to be an engineer. So we're going to have the instructions. Okay. And then between Amy and Emmanuel, one will be the builder and one will have the pieces. So they'll be the supplier. So um, either whichever team you're in. Um, the engineer will tell the supplier which piece to give to the builder and the engineer will tell the builder how to put them together. So Dylan Blondie, <laughs> you need to decide who's going to be the engineer, who's going to be the builder and who's going to be the supplier. Okay, cool. <laughs> we've got extra help that doesn't count that's not fair we've got extra extra pause to help them <laughs> it'll be that much no. they might eat the bits to be honest Possibly not say they, they might steal the bits <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll, so we'll see what goes right so basically i have prescribed the ones that we're going to do so we have to see how many we get done so the first one that we're going to do is the um, the quad bike, okay. So that's the red quad bike in your instructions. He can. It's on, page. it's on a separate little leaflet. It was of its own. Oh, that's. You got it. Trying to find it. No, I don't have that one on here. Okay, because most of them are on, because there's, there's like four separate ones that were I've for got a that. 50, a 53 page booklet here. You've got a 53 page booklet. With, with the last three or four pages are just a, a list of the, the contents. Yeah. Right, okay. In that case, we'll do... 53 is the yellow taxi. Yes. Do you want me to see if I can download the instructions for the Lego code bike? No, I'll just change the ones that we're doing. Okay. They're just slightly more complicated on the 53 page one. 
<laughs> I was going to be nice to you, but <laughs> hey. We, we made Amy build an entire train last week for her first ever go. <laughs> so what we'll do is, let me just have a quick look. So we will start with... The one starting on page 46, the little car. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. And then we will do, I think we need four models. We'll do the, the pink sort of taller plant, which is on page 16. And then we'll go I back. I'm thinking that we shouldn't be looking at anything. Yeah, We're, that's right. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's good. <laughs> then we'll go back to page 11. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. God. Which is Ain't a it. smaller plant. Four drawers and not a single pen in any one of them. How is that? <laughs> <laughs> kind of a desk, is this? Oh, God. Ah, there's a pen, there's a pen. Go so panic. I can pass you this one. Do you want... <laughs> <laughs> Might not actually. I oh, know it is a pen. Right, okay. So we're going to start with 46, you said. Yep. And then page. And then page 16. Right. And then page 11. Right. So that's the two plants. <gasps> okay. And if you, if you get through all of that, you can do the crocodile again. Okay. <laughs> Stanley agrees with the crocodile. Cool, okay then. Okay, I will um, find in myself. Right, so you guys hide your booklets away. Yep. Um, right. And, and um, split up who's going to be, who's going to be the finder of the parts and who's going to be and then they're going to pile them in front of the other person, and the other person is going to be the one that the, either June or I will tell to build the parts. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Is there a particular team, that, uh, a particular engineer that you want to have? Anybody? <laughs> I'm not bothered. <laughs> no? Just because I have to assign the, the breakout rooms. So, um, we'll see. Now, when, when I do breakout rooms, uh -huh. You have to click on it to say that you want to join the breakout room, okay? Okay. And then we'll get we'll have about forty minutes, maybe, probably about forty minutes till twenty yeah. past seven, and then yeah. I'll bring us back, <laughs> okay? For a Is show every... and tell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is everyone clear? Yeah. 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 Absolutely great. Um. I, I haven't looked at these models, so I don't know if we need to break up some of them for the pieces, so I'll just have to trust you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. I am going to, to attempt to do the breakout rooms. You want us to take photos at the end, in case we do need to break them apart, and then we can do a short tell of the photos. You can do. Oh, yeah. It the engineer, I guess, can take a screenshot if you hold up in front of the a camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm saying that like I know how to take a screenshot on your laptop. <laughs> I, I'm like, saying, I don't know how to take a screenshot. <laughs> okay. Not just do a screen thing, me, if you're. Can you like, you like, screen it into something? Oh, okay. I was thinking just on my phone and then holding my phone up to the camera. I was being that simplistic. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think, like that idea. I think we'll go for the phones because. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <That'd be> easier. <laughs> right, I'm going to attempt to. It says uh, this may or may not work. It says I've I've opted for manually create the rooms, but it says create rooms, and I don't know if it's going to let me do it. Uh, assign. Take it room one. Option. I 
She's swatting up on this. Right. Uh huh. <laughs> Joe was Joe was doing a ventriloquist thing with one of the dogs there. I'm not entirely sure it worked, but. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm going to attempt this. I can't find where to put myself, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I've put them in a one, but I can't see how to join one. Um, and I need to, I need to be doing Just that. join. Ah. Okay. Hi there. Hello. Hi there. I couldn't work out how to join there. <laughs> I'm like, <"Whoa." laughs> I signed them back, don't know how to join. Right. Okay, so we're on page 46. Uh, so you need a flat yellow. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by four dots. Plate. Yep, that looks right. Okay. Then you need a four by one brick that's got four dots on the top and four on the side. What colour? Yellow. That one? Yep, that's right. Perfect. And then, uh, Blondie, you need to um, put the four by one at yep. the back of the plate so that it's along the black four the back four yeah and that's the right way around too excellent so now we need one yellow two by two brick oh. yep um and one i don't know if it's a light blue or a gray two by two brick Might be light blue. Got a grey one? Yeah, that'll do. Um, and one brown two by two brick. Yep, and the brown one goes in the middle in front of the four by one that you've just put on. Mm -hmm. And then the grey one goes in front of that. And the yellow one goes in front of that. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, now you need a six by one brick. So it's a long six by one. You need sorry, you need two of those. Yellow? Yellow, yes. Yep, that's it. And they go up the sides of the ones you've just put on. Okay. Yeah, that's right. No, that's not happening for lights. <laughs> and now you need two, I 
think they're orange, opaque, or they look like lights. They're just like one dot. <laughs> These we <Yeah>. have? <laughs> yeah, two of them. And then one of the, the yellow ones that you got and put on at the back, the four by ones with the dots on the top and the side. Yep. Yep. That's it. So the yellow one goes with the dots facing out in front of the brown one. <laughs> yep, that's it. With the lights on it. Perfect. Right, now we need uh, gosh, two, two of those one dots that are grey, I think, and one grid type, uh, two by, it would, it would normally be a two by one, but it's a grid. Two by one grids? Yeah. It looks like the sort of, at the front of the car. Yep. And two um, dots. And two grey dots, which will presumably be like headlights as well. <laughs> so they just go at the uh, at the front, so the opposite end from the tail lights that you've just put on. Okay. And what about the grid? Does it just go in between? It's in the middle, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> I don't know if we should put out the light. I know, I can't really tell what's going on the lights. Will you be able to see alright if you've got the light out? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that makes it easier to see. Yeah, it, makes it, it does. Yeah. So. <laughs> now we need um, two one by two grey plates. So they're, they're long. Sorry. One, one by four, not one by two. Can't count me. <laughs> one by four grey. Yeah, they're just plates. Oh, like those three ones. Yeah. Okay. There's one. Okay. <laughs> Okay, right, now you need to turn the model upside down. Yep. And put them at either end so they're in line. Um, under the yellow bits that you put on. The okay. Yep. Okay, and keep the model up that way. And okay. now we need, we need two black bits like the two that you got before, but with sort of axle bits for wheels coming out. So they're four by one flat with two pointy bits at the end. Yep, that's them. One. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. They go uh, inside beside the uh, grey bits that you've just put on. So like next, just next to them? Yeah. Yep, that's right. Okay, and now we need uh, one flat, smooth, yellow piece that would normally be a two by one. But it doesn't have the uh, uh, dots on the top. Like that one? Yep, that's it. And uh, you need to turn the model the right way up. Yep. 
and at the back where the tail lights are, so the orangey red ones, mm -hmm. uh, you need to put the yellow bit um, in the middle, right at the back. So in the middle of the the other yellow one, covering the two dots. Uh, no, on the top. On the top bit? Yeah, sorry. Like that? Yeah, that's it. Uh, so now you need a cheese wedge that has two dots on the top and slopes down and it looks like it's, it's either clear or it's white. Yeah, you need two of those. One. Thank you. Yeah. So um, they are going to go, oh gosh, how do I describe this? They are going to go uh, in front of the piece that you've just put on, side by side with the uh, narrower bit at the yellow bit that you've just put on. So it goes up the way into the centre. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Perfect. Now we need two yellow two by one bricks. Uh, they look like they might be opaque as well. We've got opaque ones. Yeah, two of them. And they go behind the ones that you, well, in front of the ones you've just put on. On the outside, but. Uh, no, you need to turn them 90 degrees so that they're flush. Okay. That way? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So now we need another yellow smooth two by one flat bit. One of these ones? Yep, and you need two more of the clear cheese wedge bits. Thank you. Okay. Okay, and they are going to go so that you make a sort of mountain shape on the top. Okay, like that. Yep, and then the smooth bit goes in front in the middle, so towards the front of the car. Okay. Yep, perfect. Now you need a <clears throat> two yellow flat two by one pieces. Three, sorry, three by one, still can't count. Three by, three by two pieces. That's two flat yellow three by twos. Yep. So one, two. Okay. And they're going to go on the top um, and they cover just the top. Yep. Yep, that's it. Perfect. And then you need four wheel inners and four tires. Right, I've got different shapes and sizes. Oh, right, okay. Uh, they look, wheels they or look, big wheels? Uh, they look smallish. <laughs> they look like the small ones. Um, but they're not uh, deep, if you see what I mean. Too big? Yeah, I think they're too big. There's a tiny wee one. Oh, what's that? Yeah. So two, three, four, 
and tires. Okay. Got it? Yep. And that's you, that's the first model completed. Yeah. Woo Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I always wanted to do yellow car. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll leave it up just in case. We don't yeah. need anything from it. Right. Yeah, you shouldn't need any for the next one. For okay. that one. Um, so the next one is a plant. And okay. we need a, or, or a tree. I don't know if it's plant or tree. You need a four by four flat green plate. <laughs> yep, that's it. Thank you. And now you need a light green two by one brick. Like that one? Yep. And another one. Tap. And you put them in the middle of the plate. Yep, that's it. Okay, and now you need another two of the light green bricks. Like so. Yep, and they go on top but facing the other way. So so you're making a tower almost. Okay. Um yeah, uh, uh, I think they're meant to be the same colour. That's what it says my colour off. Place the bricks when you go. Okay. Yep, that's perfect. Now you need a flat, what would normally be a two by one, but it's only got one hole in the middle. Um, it's a flat um, green one, square. So it's, yeah, square, normally two by two, one hole in the middle. Yes, that's it. And that goes on top of the tower that you've just built. Okay. Yeah. Now you need a white cross piece. It's got three and then. It's got three and, and like three, the one in the middle. Yeah, that's perfect. And that goes on top. Okay. So now you need yep. And that now you need a pink cone. Just one. Tiny wee thing? Like, yeah, yeah. And that goes on top of the white one in the middle. Okay. And then you need a yellow dot, like a light. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and that goes on top of the pink cone. Okay. And then you need four cheese wedges that are narrower than the ones that you got. So there's only one dot on top and they're pink. Like these ones? Yeah, that's right. Four? Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four. Thanks. Okay. Okay, and now you need four that look like shoulders with the uh, one dot. So they're curved and smooth where the curve is and then 
One dot. Pink. Pink, yep. Like these wee things? Yep, that's perfect. So four of those. Thank you. So you attach the um, the wedges underneath the shoulders. That way? Yep, that's right. And then you attach the shoulder part onto the each of the white parts. Okay. So the wedges should be overhanging. Ah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh. Oops. <laughs> and I think that is our plant. <laughs> that's our first plant. Okay. So we've got we've got another one. Have you got another, let me just double check, yeah, another of those uh, four by four base plates that's green? You have, yes, excellent, so we need that. That's a good start. Yep. Now, we need two cheese wedges, but the dots are on the bottom rather than the top, and there's four of them, and two are open, and they're green. Upside down cheese wedges. Yep, and so there's four dots, two are open, two are closed. Yep, that's them. How many? Two of them. Two, yep. So they go on the um, base plate with the dots facing up the way in the centre, um, opposite to a mountain. More like a boat. Yes. Okay. Right. Good. So now we need a circle brick that's two by two with notches in the bottom and four dots on the top. Green? Green. Yeah. Oh, now we need a bit that looks a bit like a UFO. <laughs> it's flat with four dots in the middle. It's white and it's got, uh, I don't know, sort of. Uh, Is this a like a bit? Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I've been wondering what that is. I've been thinking it's like a, a wheel. Wheel? No, I was thinking it's a wheel for a ship. Mm, okay, yeah, but I've been sitting playing with it. <laughs> <laughs> so the green one goes in the middle of the cheese wedges. Okay. Okay, and the white one goes on top of that. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Now we need um, a yellow flat circle that has four dots on the top, just one. This wee thing? Yep, that's right. And now we need a blue, um, circle that looks like the green one that the with the notches in the bottom. It's got four dots on the top. Blue? Yeah, it looks like it's blue. Could it be a deep purple? Yeah, it could be a deep purple. Yeah, I think that's right. Can't find the blue one, so we'll go purple. <laughs> so the purple one goes on top of the white one. Yeah. And the yellow one goes on top of that. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So now we need uh, four two by one flat yellow bits with a sort of pincery bit coming out of the end. Okay. 
Yeah, that's them. Four of those. How many? Four. One, two, three, four. Good. And now we need four purple cheese wedgie bits with just one dot on the top. Yeah, what are them? <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay, so you put one on each of the yellow bits uh, that covers the holes with the dot to the pincer side. Okay, that, that way? Yes, you do okay. that four times. Yeah. Okay, and now you need to attach them to the white UFO Sorry. bit <laughs> so that it's coming out at an angle, so it's diagonally. Just diagonal? Yeah. So diagonally opposite each other at the corners. Uh, no, uh, one round, each one one round. Okay. Out, out is the living room one? Maybe, yeah. But there wasn't one there. There wasn't one outside, no. There wasn't one outside the living room one. I didn't check. I'll go check just in case. I've not let them out. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I had birds that have been flying into the window and the dogs then go out and try and eat them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, that, yeah. So I probably <laughs> thought it was that they started barking at. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's it. That's perfect. Okay. So we've got four yellow uh, with one dot of the pincer type. Yeah. So that's them. Two, three, four. Thank you. And four of it might be the deep purple again, two by one flat ones. These three ones? Yep. Yeah. Four. Thank you. And now you've got four lilac. Um, Curved bits with steppy bits underneath. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> four of them. <laughs> if I'm not throwing them at the laptop. <laughs> four. <laughs> <laughs> so the yellow pincer ones um, go at one end of each of the deep purple ones. So that the pincer is out lengthwise. Yeah, uh, on on top. Sorry. The yellow goes on top. Yeah, the yellow goes on top. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I fit any those three single ones. Okay. Okay, and now the the lilac ones go on top of the purple and the yellow with the step bits. Okay, slip. Yeah, that's right. Perfect. And now they fit into the white one where there are spaces. Okay. Weird yeah, thing. that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna angle them. <laughs> I think it's meant to be a plant or something again. <laughs> yeah. It's a strange one. I know. <laughs> 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 
right. So, uh, okay, so we're on to the crocodile. Is there a buzzer in case we do it in, in less time? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just close the breakout rooms and see where we <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the crocodile. Um, we need a six flat green two, uh, two by, yeah, six by two. That one? Yeah. Thank you. And now we need two cheese wedges that have got one dot on top. That are green. Yep. So, thank you. Now we need a two by two green brick. Yep. So the two cheese wedges go at one end um, facing out the way, not towards the tail or the front, facing out the way. Okay. Uh, they go on top, um, the way you've got them, but on top. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And the, the brick goes in front of them. Okay. Yeah. And now you need another two cheese wedges. With one dot. The cheese wedges. Yeah. And they go in the front. In front of the four or in front the whole front? In front of the four. Okay. Yeah. And now you need two green longer cheese wedges with one dot on the top, one dot on the top. <laughs> yeah. One, two, thank you. And they go right on the front to make a nose type um, shape. Yeah, perfect. Now you need a green um, two by three dot plate. Yeah. Yep, one of those. And a, oh gosh, it looks like eight by two dot plate that's green as well. Yes. And then you need um, six white dots on their own, look like lights. Maybe. Yep. Yep. How many? Six. Six, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Thanks. Over to you. Okay, the six dots go on the six plate. Underneath or on top? On top. On top. You're so keen to put everything underneath. <laughs> They can go underneath, can they? I suppose they can. Yep. Okay, and then the eight by two goes on top of that so that it's flush with one end and is long. Yep. Okay. Right. Okay, and then it goes on top of the crocodile body at the back. Um, well, it will go flush with the, I think it's flush with the front, but it, it's completely flush at the back. Um, yeah, that's it. So now we need four green cheese wedges with no dots on, they're quite small. I think they're green, dark green. Yeah, four of them. One, two, three, four. Okay. And they go at the front, sloping from the top to the, from the front to the back, downwards. Yeah. One on each side, like steps.
like that. Um, the other way round, but that's right, that's correct, but it's the other way round. Spinning them, yeah, they're fairly to try and remove <laughs> that way, yeah, that's right. Okay, and uh, we've got two, um, one by one bricks that have got a dot on the top and a dot at the side, and then two eyes that attach to either side of those. Are the other ones green? They are, they are green and then two eyes. Yep. Yep. And the eyes attached to either side of those. And they go, I suppose it's the front now, in front of the ones you've just put on with the eyes sticking out. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And actually, that's our time to stop. <laughs> Just <laughs> <get> that, <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to attempt to get us back. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we'll see how this works. Right. Oh, I was just trying to twist string to sample, so it's the same position as the other one. But it doesn't want to go round. Oh, well, it's apparently it takes a, a minute to leave the break, breakout room. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can probably click on it. Yeah, there is a button, so just hit leave breakout. Yeah. Well, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> The other team have a countdown to finish. It's good that you can move the things on yeah. it, I know. The car is my favourite, I have to say. It looks like a wee face when you, because it looks like eyes. I don't know if you oh, can yeah. see that, but it kind of looks like eyes. Yeah, it Hello. does. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> did the electricity run out or did you put the light out? <laughs> you put the light out. I couldn't get into the breakout room to start with. It took me about two or three minutes to get <laughs> uh, Is that an excuse for here already? No, no, because we've done all our models. Have you done all your models? <laughs> Damn it, no. Have you not? <laughs> no, damn it. We got completely stuck by windows and taxis. We got absolutely added stuff up and, and explained it really badly. So it took us probably too long to make the taxi to begin with. But uh, it's a good taxi now, it's done. Oh, well done. <laughs> we've got the taxi. Yay. Yeah. And we've got the flower. Good. And then we were here. So I don't know how far we were. Well, All right, you didn't do too badly with that one. There's not much more on that one. No. Wait, let's well see done. your taxi. Go on, Blondie. Oh, okay. I was saying it looks like a wee face at the front. It looks like Broom, the, you remember the car at the kids' school? Yeah! Go. Yeah! I'm <laughs> watching that. <laughs> I used to watch it with my kids. Don't make me feel old. <laughs> Before my time, if it wasn't black and white, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to share uh, other models, Jill? So we got the flower as well. Okay. Nice. And what's the last one look like? Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. We were we were some way away then. <laughs> what is it? It's, it's just a bit of a flower, but these bits move. 
these bits can go. It's a swirl leaf. Oh, oh yeah, we would definitely have not got there anytime soon if I've had to explain moving parts. Good grief. <laughs> oh no, I see where they are now. They'll be grippy things. Oh. Yeah. Is that not the one from last week? No, we freshly <laughs> built it. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> and we did discover there were enough pieces so we didn't have to break them apart. All right, okay. Well done. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm taking the blame for that one. I'm taking one for the team because I, I explained windows very badly. So <laughs> and we kept hard. we kept losing pieces as well. I don't think that helped. <laughs> right. <laughs> I thought apparently you saying apparently saying a wee round twiddly thing with knobs on it is not a reasonable expectation for somebody who's never seen Lego before. <laughs> so, <laughs> really? I mean, that kind of could be anything. In it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Oops. We went We went for cheese wedges and uh, plates. and <laughs> Yeah, the cheese okay. wedges were working. Yep. Oh, and the plates for flat bits. That would yeah. just make you hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any sort of chance of helping the other person? or Did you stick to your... No, all the stuff has been... So at my side, yeah, so all at Jill's side. But we have to remember that Jill is even more anally retentive than I am. It's probably all in separate Tupperware boxes by size and shape. And oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> see, see. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, that's stressful. <laughs> that is stressful. And, and at least three of the bits rolled underneath the laptop. Because it <laughs> oh, no. And because when we started, it was all in here, just all mixed together. <laughs> And then um, it was hard to find, so I went like this. <laughs> and the first five bits were all yellow. We had no chance. <laughs> That's what you need to spend your weekend now doing is getting yeah. <laughs> them into colour. If it's any consolation, I am I am building some from my own Lego set. I'm half of <laughs> building an aeroplane <laughs> just so I can get the fingers and the thumbs going for next week. <laughs> did you get more Lego for your birthday, Karen? And I did not, no. Not yet. Oh. Not yet. Disappointed <laughs> in Alistair. <laughs> maybe maybe your anniversary or something like that. <laughs> well, to be fair, there were quite a lot of birthday presents I got that he doesn't entirely know about yet. I wouldn't be too disappointed. <laughs> Remember, Karen, this is recording. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> Emmanuel, how did you find that? Yeah, it's it's a very, it's very good. Uh, uh, this is my first time of playing Lego, and uh, I, I think I enjoyed it. It's uh, not always as competitive as this. No. <laughs> I, I just think I like the teamwork, and uh, yeah, and, and I think. Uh, You've described very well. You've tried your best to describe. I think it's just that we have all our parks uh, not properly arranged. Yeah, I think we'll definitely do that for next so, time. I think I've learned my lesson. So I think you've uh, you, you've tried your best to describe it, and uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Does anybody want to say anything else? No, I'm just kind of sad that next week's the last week, to be honest. Oh. <laughs> well, are we going to start making this a, more com a much more competitive week? <laughs> I'm always we built like, like Taj Mahal and <laughs> <laughs> Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Your dad should have brought his Lego. I know. I know. You should have a look. If you, on YouTube, look at the Try Guys Lego without instructions. Because they try to do it without instructions and it's a new video that's out. So have a look at that. Okay. Right, They're trying right. to build like a really complicated one. <laughs> and I have they have no instructions. I would, uh, if there were instructions available, I would probably be inclined to read the instructions. Even <laughs> even if I read them all the way through and then just tried to build it without going back to them again, I wouldn't, that would stress me out just starting from scratch <laughs> with, with no clue. <laughs> well, next week is completely freestyle within your teams. <laughs> So, <laughs> can have a go. I know what Karen wants to build. <laughs> but you have to agree within your teams. <laughs> I've got a team all by myself right here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm not 
Why don't you bring the husband next time? Oh god, no, Alison doesn't do Lego. <laughs> <laughs> he but doesn't know what he's missing out on. <laughs> To be fair, I, I did apologise at one point halfway through um, uh, our session. I said, if this causes a divorce, <laughs> I can only apologise. <laughs> because it's not the kind of thing that, that couples want to do if they're not already pretty secure in what they're up to. So, yeah, I'll, Alistair and I won't be doing it anytime soon because we would actually just end up stabbing each other with sharp bits. <laughs> well, well next week, people. Morag's reckons she'll be able to come along next week, so I might split you into three teams so that Morag and Karen can work together and then it does make it a bit easier for those who are in the same house but it's really more about the whole kind of communication stuff so um, yeah. and the, the building on each other's ideas next week which is really using um, social skills <laughs> <laughs> negotiation, <laughs> compromise <laughs> persuasion <laughs> I've got homework this isn't fair <laughs> No, 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 you can just do it next week. <laughs> ah, that's all right then. Yeah, but more I reckon she'll, she'll be able to come. So, um, oh, good news. Good. Um, so, yeah, and, and now that I've done breakout rooms, I know how to join them, so I'll be going right. <laughs> <laughs> Checking you all out. <laughs> so the plan is that we make up something ourselves, or we find a design that we like and we, we build that. Yeah. Yeah, Does it have to have a set number of bricks in it to make it, uh, or is it just going to be judged purely on its aesthetic appeal by the end of it? I think it will be judged on its uh, aesthetic appeal, and it will be, um, I'm hoping that it's all your volunteers who are going to uh, decide which one they like best. So you okay. might actually want to think about what your volunteers like as well. Or it could be like to do with the technical stuff and what you've got in it and what it really looks like. So could, could I just could I just leave a box of Lego and just say it's spelled out Q and review in Braille, and then <laughs> and then the volunteers surely none of whom can speak Braille, none of them can read Braille would uh, would uh, actually be suitably impressed because they wouldn't want to agree with me. <laughs> I have no idea what your volunteers are going to like. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yes. But there is a um, a fifty pounds uh, voucher up for buying Lego, which um, we are going to. Oh, do. The, the stakes have <laughs> seriously just been raised. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do some homework. <laughs> I've got some draft paper here somewhere. That is so good. Yeah. So, who, who are we actually going into teams with? So we should maybe just get, discuss that and then we can get like a wee bit of communication before that. A Paxi Jill! A Paxi Jill! <laughs> <laughs> we have to have two separate Zooms then. <laughs> <laughs> We're not working together. <laughs> um, I don't, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Um, Morag is expecting to join you. Uh, so, yeah. I think we might do we might do more Ag and Karen and then Jill and Blondie and Amy and Emmanuel. Um, it does make it, as I say, a little bit easier for those who are in the same place. Yeah, that'll be taken into account when the judging happens, surely. And, that, and you'll yeah. start off like ten <laughs> points up anyway because what I can. Well, can we take so. into account Emmanuel having never seen it then if we're getting sympathy points? Well, that would only have worked now because he's seen it now. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> But Emmanuel, he's also an engineer. I mean, okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so you could, you could, like, it, but it's the design. Remember, it's the final design rather than the actual, you know, process. Of the, I'm not going to be judging the process. Okay. Um, you're going to be judged on your final design. So we can, we're both building and we're both finding parts. Yep. Yeah, as long as you're working okay. together and discussing it. I mean, some people, what they do is actually they build separate things but put it together, you know, um, at the end. Or like put it together as they're, as they're going <laughs> along. So they, they build sort of separate little bits. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen the Lego um, competition on this TV. No? No. Ah, right. They, they do similar sort of things, but they... Yeah, you maybe don't want to go quite as, as far as that. <laughs> never, never underestimate how far I'm prepared to go when I walk down. <laughs> they have huge models, like huge things. Yeah. <laughs> You've got hours to work on them. <laughs> Heaven. 
<laughs> I've always said if I make it to if I make it to retire, not that I'm likely planning on that anytime soon, but another twenty years or so, I'm going to get myself as a retirement present either the Millennium Falcon or the Death Star. Because they uh, take something like six, seven hundred hours to build. Uh, uh -huh. and, um, is that the big Millennium Falcon? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. My husband's Star done the little one. <laughs> Which Star one is that? Uh, the, one of the first three. In fact, the Millennium the Falcon. Was oh! <gasps> Star Wars! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah, Star Wars, <laughs> not Star Trek. Not the uh, not the Enterprise, the Millennium Falcon. Okay. I was sort of saying, what's the Star Trek, but it's the Enterprise. But we're basically the Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> we, should do the, we should do that for you. Right, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll have a, a Rainbow USS Enterprise. <laughs> you are on. <laughs> My You're dad like... is also up next week, who's a huge Lego fan. Oh wow! <laughs> is he bringing supplies with him? That... You know, he's got he's got a lot of these kind of fancy ones, doesn't he? Yeah, he's he got... buys the big like uh, is it connect sets? Oh, the ones that are mechanic. The, the big cranes and stuff like. Oh, that. the technique ones. Yeah. yeah, the technique ones. Yeah, my husband's got one of those. <laughs> That's he wants a motor for it now. <laughs> yeah, I think he's got one for well. He's got quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he gets for his Christmas every year. Nice. <laughs> ah, right, okay. That's him, he's a happy man. <laughs> yes, quite right. <laughs> right, well, if, if you, if, I don't know, Karen, you might need to get together with Morag before next week. Oh, I'll, what I'll end up probably doing is I'll, I'll figure out some typewritten instructions and I'll send them to Morag and she can... <laughs> <laughs> she can give me instructions, because I've got the Lego here, I'm not going to ship it all to Morag. And, Expect her to build you know, something out of my head because that's kind of scary. So I'll, I'll <laughs> take up the instructions and send them. She can give it back to you. Yeah, absolutely. That sounds sounds like a plan. And uh, you like doing the building, and she likes doing the talking. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> and you're recording this, so well done. That's absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said it, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. You're all happy then. You know what yeah, we're doing. Yeah. We've got a plan. Excellent. So we'll see you next week. Thank you for joining. Bye. 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 Bye.